Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start another series. Um, North Sides. Those little envelopes of pasta and rice that you can get at the grocery store. Hold on y'all, I'm trying to get my bacon out of here. Um, we're going to do a few little... Um, hold on y'all for just a second. A few little recipes for those. First thing that you need to do, and these are really quick. First thing that you need to do is chop you up some bacon and cook it until it's crispy. And you also need some leftover chicken, about three cups worth, or you can make your own, which is going to be about one large chicken breast and maybe a smaller one. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start making, and I'm going to make two of them. We're going to go ahead oops, and make our pasta. I'm going to do that real quick. And I'm, even though I drained off the bacon grease, I wanted to keep that flavor in there. So... I use, I'm going to use the same pan. Okay. Now, you're supposed to use creamy garlic shells. Here's a picture of it. Um, but all I could find was creamy garlic spirals. So I'm just going to go with that because hopefully it's the same. Um, and I'm going to make, like I said, I'm going to kind of make two packages of these. Even though I'm going to use the same amount of bacon and chicken. Also, another change I made, because you know me, you got to mess with it. Um, I, um, another change I made. What was the other change I made? Oh, this was supposed to be a BLT pasta dish. I just took the lettuce and tomato out. So whenever you follow the link and it's, you know, you're like, that's not what you said. Well, it's because I decided to loosely base this recipe on a recipe. Basically, you're going to use your two packages of pasta and you're going to make them according to the directions on the package. You're going to use four slices of bacon chopped up and cooked and crumbled. And then you're going to use about three cups worth of chicken, whether it's leftover chicken or, you know, whatever. And it's really just a few ingredients. I just didn't add the lettuce and tomato at the end. And that's part of when you serve it. So, I mean, you know, you wouldn't really cook that part. So, you can do it the way the recipe states. Or you can do it, you know, with the changes that I made. Alright. So, I'm going to bring this to a boil and cook my pasta. And I will be right back. Okay, y'all, so it is cooked and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. Stir this up in there. And put some of this We'll stir some of this up in my pasta. And it's basically done now, ready to serve. And I'm just going to take the last of this and just sprinkle all around. Now, like I said, you can follow the recipe. It doesn't, you know, go too far away from this, the part that I did and how I revised it doesn't go too far away from the actual recipe, just a little bit. Um, but it's ready to go and I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, I don't like the fact that this pasta does not have that much flavor. So hopefully, I'm hoping that the bacon will help. And I add a little bit of salt and pepper, but I'm ready to serve. I can go ahead and serve this with some bread and a vegetable, and we're ready to go. All right, let's go to our next 
nor side recipe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, this recipe here, we're gonna just continue with our north sides recipes. Um, this one uses this particular packaging um, or this, this particular um, pasta. It's the chicken flavor. Um, and it's gonna be a smoky mac and cheese type. So it does have a little bit of chicken in it. Um, bacon, cheese, um, red pepper, red bell pepper, and some onion. Um, the first thing you need to do is fry up a couple of pieces of bacon that you've um, chopped up, um, you know, or crumbled, whichever. Um, and then about a cup, which is about a half of a red bell pepper and a half of an onion. You chop those up and uh, you're gonna saute those. And then you're gonna remove all that from the pan. And now I'm just gonna make the pasta according to the um, package directions. And then we're just gonna add everything back in here. Also, the chicken needs to be cooked already. So I had already cooked it the day before um, from another recipe and I just saved some off of that. Our next recipe will be um, with a stroganoff type. So it'll be a more recipe, but it's gonna be stroganoff. So that'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna get this to cook in. It's gonna take me about seven minutes and then I'll come back and show you the rest. It's really easy and simple and quick. Okay, y'all, so I got it finished. And now we're gonna add our other ingredients and then we are done. You need to add some chopped chicken. This can be chicken that you cook just for this recipe. It could be chicken that's left over from something else that you were making. Or it could be like a rotisserie chicken. Anything, it's fine. You can use grilled, baked, broiled fry, anything. Just chop it up into pieces that are a little bit smaller than bite size. We're gonna go ahead and add our bell pepper onion mixture that I cooked earlier. It was a red bell pepper. Uh, half of a red bell pepper, half of an onion chopped, and I sauteed those. And two slices of bacon. And you're gonna mix all this in together. Okay. And then it's basically done. I'm letting it sit here and warm up a little bit. And then you're gonna add some pepper jack cheese, about a half a cup or so. I'm just gonna add what I have left in this bag. And that's it, y'all. One pot dinner, real quick, all done. Ready to serve. It'd be good with a green salad or maybe some sort of vegetable inside, green beans, something like that. Okay, all finished. Now let me get the next recipe together and we'll get started on that one. Okay y'all, so this next recipe is a stroganoff type recipe. We're going to use the Alfredo north side for this one. Um, I forgot to say I am doubling each of these so it's enough for my family. Um, this one, instead of putting in steak like the recipe calls for, we're gonna just do ground beef. I've already cooked a pound of ground beef and an onion, and I've already drained it. And so that goes in there. Um, we also need a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that in. Stir that up. You can use fresh garlic. I just use powder. It's a lot more convenient for me. But you are welcome to do fresh. If you do it, you need to kind of Probably saute it just a little bit with the meat and the onions. 
Um, and then let me make sure I haven't forgot anything. Okay. Um, I went ahead and got our noodles and sauce together, and I'm going to pour that in here. Surprisingly enough, it did not ask for, the recipe did not call for, um, didn't call for bell pepper. So I didn't add it. Um, so I'm going to pour all this in. And you will make the noodles or pasta according to the package directions. You can make it in the same skillet if you take the meat and all that out, you know, and do it that way. Or you can do it in a separate pan altogether and just add it to it. Um, the recipe calls for mushrooms. I'm going to put in some drained canned mushrooms, but you can put in fresh if you prefer. I just had those and I was like, you know, I'll put that in there. Um, and one more thing. We need to stir in some sour cream at the end. But I want to do this real quick. Um, the recipe doesn't call for it, but you can add some frozen peas. And I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add in about a half a cup or so. And you can leave, you can put them in frozen or you can cook them, it doesn't matter. Um, but they tend to defrost pretty quickly in something heated. So I'm just going to stir these in real quick. And my skillet is on low, my burner is on low. So this gives it a little bit of color, a little bit of extra veggie vibe there. And as it sits, it'll continue to defrost. Okay, and our last little add-in is a little bit of sour cream and you're gonna need about a quarter of a cup. So, stir that in real quick and you're all done. I'm gonna salt and pepper this a little bit and it's ready for the family. So hopefully you, you've gotten some good ideas from these. North sides recipes where you take something that's not homemade and kind of make it into a homemade dish and you're kind of just adding to and it makes this big meal kind of expands it a little bit and that's all y'all that's it for this one um, real quick and you can use the steak like the recipe call for or you can just do ground beef it is cheaper so I just went ahead and used that okay y'all make sure you like and subscribe I'll see you next time